Gentlemen and ladies, excuse me, I am walking over to turn off some water to the swamp cooler. That's right, it's a swamp cooler. Um, there were going to be two videos done today. I was going to do it all as one, talking about the event that happened yesterday, and this video here, and another <laughs> video. We're going to do two event issues in the next video, but we're going to talk about this particular situation. Walking while black! That's not the issue here. You are really going to play, pay attention to what's being said. This is a judge. Bow tie and everything. But let me tell you something about Judge Fleischer. He gets it right. Judge Fleischer is a real judge. He, he's not pretending. He's not one of those idiots who sits up there and causes you problems. He gets it right. He follows the book. This is the man I want in front of me. I don't care what his attitude is towards anything else. As long as he does by the book like he did in this case right here, this man gets all the respect in the planet. He gets to be called a judge. He gets to be called your honor by me. Why? Because he's representing the court. The other ones are not representing the court. Remember, they hold you in contempt of court, not contempt of judge. They tell you that it is the order of the court, not the order of the judge. They tell you you must respect the court, not the honor of the judge. It is your honor, the court, not the honor of the person who's sitting up there representing the court. Ladies and gentlemen, they are representing the court, supposedly, and they don't do it right. Why? Because most of the time they're representing the corporation. They're not representing the court. They're representing the corporation. Pay attention. Judge Fleischer, he's got a case. This young man right here, the defense, I mean, not the defendant, the prosecutor is going to be telling him all the things this young man did. All the things he did. And how he ran from the police, fell, gun fell out of his pants' waist. There was a gun with a clip, one in the chamber, seven in the magazine, and then there were other remaining bullets found in his backpack. Then he's going to say how his mama bought it from. The father admits the mama bought it from. So I want y'all to listen to the story. Now, I'm hoping the volume going to be okay because sometimes it does what it does. Let me make show of the volume thing because I don't want to have to go through this again. Might have to do it again, you know, and I don't want to do the staple singers, not right now. So hold on, let me um play this now. Okay, I can see that one moving up there. We're gonna turn it all the way up so y'all can hear it. Okay, we're gonna turn it all the way up so y'all can hear it. Hold on now, cha ching. Now, watch this. See that that that's um big homie. That, that's who that that's big homie okay hold on now zion aviola mr aviola you're charged with two cases you're charged with evading arrest you're also charged with unlawful carrying of a weapon on both of those cases you're facing up to a year in jail and or a four thousand dollar fine we're going to do probable cause you have the right to remain silent anything you say can or will be used against you you have the right to have an attorney present. If you cannot afford one, one will be appointed to you, sir. Okay, now stop right there. Excuse me, sir. I'm not here to testify. So no, anything I say cannot be used against me because I'm not under oath. You're under oath. You've taken an oath of office, and so are those two idiots right there. Okay, I'm not under oath here. I'm not required to be under oath. I'm not here to testify, and you cannot force me to testify. So telling me anything I say can be used against me would violate my First Amendment secured right to do whatever I want to when I open my mouth. Is that understood? Literally. That's the end of that conversation. But again, pay attention. He's not being the agitator. He's not trying to agitate things. But that's what I would explain here. Anything I say, don't put me under those rights. Those are not my rights. Those belong to Miranda. You go get Miranda and read those to him. You don't get to read me my rights. My rights are embedded in nature. They are inalienable. You don't get to sit up here and dictate what my rights are. I don't care what his position is. I don't care if he does follow the book. He will understand that. 
I don't play that with rights. You don't give me rights. I didn't ask you for no rights. Did I ask you to give me a right? So let me give a couple of left hooks. Hold on one second. Judge, on May 30th, 2024, Now pay attention. He ain't speaking. He ain't speaking. I got a, a call coming in. I got to let the person know that I cannot talk. I cannot talk right now. They see that I called them twice yesterday. Lord have mercy. Hold on now. He's speaking. Now notice all the things, the negative stuff he's going to be saying. I mean, he's going to run a litany of stuff. Black males walking out of Beckford Place Homeowner Association Park, which is closed after sunset. Officers made contact with the defendant and another male who advised they did not have the park, did not know the park was closed. The defendant kept reaching near his waistband and pocket. Officers attempted to conduct a terry frisk on the defendant, resulting in the defendant running. Foot pursuit lasted approximately 25 to 30 yards. While running, a black hand handgun fell. No, hold on now. We're going to talk about the handgun in a moment. They said he was reaching near his waist. Where's the video? He didn't say, and that's on video footage. They didn't say none of that. They just said he was reaching, reaching near his waist. Where is the proof that he was reaching near his waist? So what he was reaching near his waist? That's not evidence of anything. Well, he might have a weapon. So? That's not evidence of anything. Reaching near his waist, he's not under arrest. You're just asking him a question. He can reach near his ankle. He can reach behind his back. He can reach on top of his head. There is no law that says a person can't reach near their waist. That's not enough probable cause. You're going to see the judge gets it right. You see, that would be enough to say that when he took off running, he was evading the officers. He had something to hide. They had a right to chase him because he was trying not to be Terry Frisk. Terry Frisk is the case where the United States Supreme Court made a determination that the police have the right to frisk someone if they suspect them of a crime. Well, he had not committed a crime. He was only on property after hours. The only thing they could do, especially when they told him we didn't know it was closed. We didn't know that it was closed and we couldn't be here. The only thing they could do at that point is ask them to leave. Because at that point, they're just security officers. They're not police officers. They did not witness any crime being committed. They only witnessed them being on a property that the sign said it was closed. They have no idea or clue whether these guys had an agreement to be there or not. It's private property. So at this point, the only thing they could do is ask them to leave. If they refuse to leave, then they can operate as peace officers. But for right now, all they could do, or excuse me, police officers, uh, the only thing they could do is operate as peace officers. Tell them, hey, guys, you, you can't be here. That's all they could do. That's the only jurisdiction they have. Now, hold on. Pay attention. From the defendant's waste area. Defendant stated the gun belonged to his mother. Officers recovered a Glock 23, loaded with one bullet. Hold on. Y'all see how he snitched on his mama? Oh, no, that's my mama's. That, what the? I, I, hey, hey, come on now. I'm just pointing out the real. Hold on. Bullet in the chamber at seven in the magazine. Fifteen additional bullets were found inside the defendant's book bag and an extra magazine containing 18 bullets, a total of 41 bullets. Defendant's father arrived on scene and stated the defendant's mother is the one who purchased the weapon for the defendant. The defendant is 19 years of age. Hold on. Then it's not his mama's. Do you see what I'm saying? The mama bought it for him. It's his property now. Now, hold on. He's 19. He ain't supposed to be having no gun. Technically, there is no law that says a 19-year-old can't have a gun. <laughs> go to uh, Montana. Go to Maine. Go to any of them uh, New Hampshire northern states and see if teenagers don't have guns. Please. There is no law that says he doesn't have the right to protect himself. He's 19 years old. Not, I don't like guns. Don't advocate for guns. I, I don't like the NRA. Don't care about them. Don't care about guns. But I do care about law. So let's listen. That's 2023 unlawful carry of a weapon, non suit as a juvenile, no out of county uh, uh, criminal record. Here's the rub. What's he doing? 
walking while black. Did you hear that? Now let's let's do this. He said he has a prior for 2023 as a juvenile. A prior 2023 as a juvenile. Now the judge gets it right. So what is he doing? Walking while black? Now people are surprised that he would say that. He's not joking, he's telling the truth. Now let me explain to you what's going on here. The prior as a minor cannot be associated with him as an adult, so it's inadmissible. That junk don't mean nothing. I know, I know you've seen so many other cases where they use stuff like that. See, that's where the judges ignore the law. He's not ignoring the law. He's saying, okay, so what's the charge here? He hasn't articulated a crime. He hasn't articulated a crime. There was no probable cause. He did not accept, uh, express anything that would give the police officers the right to frisk them. He was reaching near his waist. So he was reaching near his waist. I'm just telling you where the judge made the decision. Now, hold on. He says, what's the charge here? Walking while black. Let, let's let you hear that again. Hold on. Judge Fleischer, could you please say it again? Because they didn't hear you. What's he doing? What's he doing wrong? Was he under arrest? I mean, all I see is that they go up to him and they just start searching. Right? Hold on. Oh, hold on. Hold on. No, no. Hold on. Watch this. Watch this. I tell you, the judge gets it right. I mean, all I see is that they go up to him and they just start searching. We're going to go here. What's he doing? What's he doing wrong? Was he under arrest? He has 2023 unlawful carry of a weapon, non suit as a juvenile, no out of county uh, uh, criminal record. Here's the rub. What's he doing? Walking while black? Okay. What's he doing? What's he doing wrong? Was he, he under arrest? He and, gets I mean, it all right. I see is that they go up and they just start searching. Right? Hold I mean, on. Walking while black. Hold on. Hold on, Judge. You ain't supposed to be talking that fast. I didn't tell you to talk that fast. Hold on. Ladies and gentlemen, the system Ms. is Abiola. frozen. I'll be very careful. Now, I need y'all to pay attention. I'm going to stop that right there. You need to understand Zion Aviola is his name. Zion is given a Do warning it. by the Walking judge. Black. Oh, hold on, judge. Hold on. He's given a warning by the judge. This is not a I'm not trying to help you warning. This is not you need to look out. Okay, don't do it again. This is not that type of warning. This is him being sincere. He's trying to tell this young man what you did was stupid. Don't do it again because guess what? Now they'll have a reason to search you. Now they'll have a reason to look for probable cause. And if they find a gun on you next time, I'll have no choice but to put you in. Pay attention to what he says. Sorry, get that out of here. What's he doing? What's he doing wrong? Was he under arrest? I mean, all I see is that they go up to him and they just start searching. Right? I believe. Walk on all black. Now, this is the other person doing a video, and I give him credit because I give the judge respect too. Because he. Ms. Abiola, I'd be very careful. You know, where you go, what you do may not end up well for you. I'm going to find no probable cause on this case now. Thank you, Mr. Abiola, be careful. Just take a seat for me in the back, please. Don't leave. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to cut this one off as soon as I get a chance, as soon as it lets me have a chance. I'm going to cut it off, but I do need you all to understand something. He told him to be careful where you go, what you do. Ladies and gentlemen, he told him to be careful for a reason. And it was a valid reason that he told him to be careful. Sorry, I'm shutting down all of this stuff that's in my background. It's a lot of stuff in my background. He told him to be careful. Watch where you go, what you do. Why? Because they're going to be looking for you now, son. You don't just get to walk away from a case like this. That's what he's telling him. Go back, listen to it. You take the time to listen to it. Be careful where you go and what you do. It's not safe. Do you understand? He told him it's not safe. He didn't tell him that it's not safe for the police officers. He's telling it's not safe for him. 
a judge who got it right, who understands what's going on out there in the streets. Now, will he do the same thing the next time? I don't know. I don't know this man. I never met this judge. But I do know, in this instance, he got it right. Look, he said everything I said when I was explaining. I didn't listen to the whole video. I don't know the case. I just know the police had no probable cause. There was no reason for them to frisk anybody. So what you saw him reaching near his waist? He could have been pulling his pants up. He's a black boy. He's sitting up there about be sagging. Just having us Negro sagging. Oh, sorry. For those of you who don't understand sagging, sagging is niggas spelled backwards. Sorry. You thought it was something a black person made up? <laughs> oh, please. Anyway, back to the storyline. Ladies and gentlemen, the judge actually got it right. And the fact that people like myself are saying this, it might not put him in a good light with those peers that he has, but I'm going to say it because it's the truth. He got it right. He followed the law. Hopefully, this will help many of you to understand. Okay? Hey, got to go, but I hope you appreciated this full story. Have a good day.